fit lovelies welcome back to the channel it's me lenora if you're wondering why my hands are on my chest like this it's because Ta -da -da -da! the reason why i want to do this video is because march 8th is when captain marvel is coming out and this is the build up to avengers endgame which is going to be it for now of the avengers back to the point brie larson who was cast as captain marvel we all know when you are gonna play a superhero character, you need to look the part. And when she was cast, she was like, okay, gotta get myself the training. And that's where she found Jason Walsh, who is her trainer. And they did some serious training for nine months. If you just type in Google, Captain Marvel workout, you can find all kinds of workouts. And most of it is kind of circuit based, but I wanted something which is kind of similar or closer to the kind of training that I usually do, which is which is hypertrophy style. Personally for me, anybody who wants to change their physique, they have to adapt some kind of bodybuilding program. Bodybuilding, I use that term loosely, okay? So what I've done is, I've taken eight of Brie Larson's hardest workout moves according to this website here and i put it all together into a workout of my own that i think would be fun to do not just for me but also for anybody else so technically you are doing the captain marvel workout it's just that it's lenora style <laughs> Let's get you into superhero workout mode. This is the entire program. And these eight exercises, you will find them in Brie Larson's Instagram feed. I had to tweak some of them because she was doing it with a trainer and I was doing it by myself. But you will still get the same effect. All right, let's get into your warm up. As Jason Walsh recommended, foam roll. I did about 10 to 15 rolls on each body part, but I emphasized more on my tighter areas because I knew those were problematic for me. Moving on to dynamic stretches, I love the scorpion push-up because it really stretches out my back area and also my legs. So you just basically flip from one side to the other and go into a push-up. The next stretch is officially my favorite one I'm going to do forever now, which is the world's greatest stretch. However, I gave a little tweak and I added the hand reaching towards the ceiling. I really encourage everybody to do these following activation moves, which are the Y lift, T flutters, W reach, and shoulder rotation. Not a lot of people do do this and I highly recommend it especially if you're doing an upper body day because this will prevent shoulder injury give you better engagement with your muscles and also warm up those joints so give these a go now we get to the meat of the entire workout here is superset one exercise a1 the hip thrust as a superhero you're probably going to wear some fitted clothing which is why you want to get curves in the right areas in this case, the glute. What I like about the hip thrust is not as complicated as a deadlift or a squat and even a beginner can do this. Just don't go very heavy. I did these for 6 to 8 reps with a tempo of 3 seconds down and 1 second up. Progressively, I added more weight and the heaviest I went for today was 100 kg. But you don't need to go that heavy. I paired the hip thrust with another big move for the upper body and that is the chin up. For Captain Marvel, she required upper body strength especially when you see the trailer she is swinging from rope to rope. Chin ups can be done either with assistance like using the band which is on the other bar. If not, you can always go for body weight. If you're very confident, you can even add weight. Here, I've got a 2.5 kg which is dangling before me. 60 seconds rest. Now repeat A1, A2 for 3 to 4 times. Moving on to set number 2. B1 barbell walking lunges. Rep range is 8 to 10 and the tempo for this is 2010. Barbell walking lunges are great to test your core strength, work on your stability, work on your shoulder strength and your legs. But at some point when you get tired because it is going to put a lot of tension on your shoulders, put the bar on your back like how I'm doing here and then just focus on your legs cuz predominantly walking lunges is a leg exercise anyway. Few things to keep in mind, one keep your body upright two if it's too heavy go lighter and three if you're not familiar or comfortable with the move do isolated lunges that means on the spot not walking I pair the walking lunges with B2 push-ups with or without weight. Originally, Brie Larson, she did this with chains. Unfortunately, I don't have chains at my gym. So I just did this with 8 to 10 reps with a 3 seconds down and 1 second up. If the push-up is too difficult for you in this position, it's okay. You can always revert to going onto your knees. If you happen to have any wrist problems, like I've been having a little bit because of my mobility issues, you can always opt to do push-ups on your knuckles or just holding on to dumbbells. 
After you're done with this, 60 seconds rest and then go back to B1 and repeat B2. Do these for three to four sets, just like the first superset. The final section is a tricep, predominantly core work. The first move, C1, is the ab ball throw. Steady yourself on your butt, feet off the floor, ball above your head, then fling it to your partner. I'm fortunate that I've got Liana here from Kwa to do this workout with me. And it's just like Brie who has a coach, but it's okay, I found an alternative alternative if you don't have anybody to throw the ball back at you and make sure you keep your feet off the ground as long as possible i noticed something interesting that in the mcu there are not many female heroines that will bear their midriff it's usually the guys but i could be wrong here is the alternative to c1 if you don't have someone to throw the ball back at you for the ad ball throw do the kneeling medicine ball slam cue i give myself is to breathe out when i slam the ball down therefore my core goes inwards and you do this for 12 reps remember slam c2 is the screwdriver i found this on brie larson's instagram feed and i thought it'd be good to just add in doing this move is quite advanced so if you're a beginner i recommend doing leg raises as an alternative when you're doing this move you want to make sure you're really engaging your lower abs and what i found is that you don't want to have your body going all the way up straight i ensured whenever my legs went up i was still able to see my feet and by doing so i was able to feel the tension at my lower abs went down for a controlled three seconds and one second coming up your final move for superset three battle ropes i wanted very much to smash a sledgehammer on a tire and it would be so much cooler but i don't have those two items and most gyms probably won't either so being practical you have higher chances of finding battle ropes so battle ropes it is working the same thing your core your arms your shoulders switch it up from either two hands or alternating hands either way you will burn in 30 seconds here comes the final move and this is really just for fun <laughs> one of the things that brie does for captain marvel she pushed the car if you are going to be doing a car push, safety first. Number one, do it on a flat road. Please don't do it uphill. That is super dangerous. Number two, have someone in the driver's seat to steer, have the car on neutral, and also with their hand or their foot on the brakes at all time when you are not pushing the car. You don't have to push a vehicle. You can opt to just do a normal sled push, which you can find at some gyms. Big shout out to my buddy Nick and Ling for helping me with this shot. Done this already now. Like seven. Okay, that's enough. All right. Uh, what? Huh? Wait, wait, come back to the car. Wait, bro. Wait, no. I can't take you. Oh my god. There you go, guys. That is my version of the Captain Marvel workout, which I've taken bits and pieces from her training and put it into this program over here. I would see this program as more like a fun thing and to just challenge yourself and to do something fun which is related with superheroes. I want to also emphasize that you do not need to go very heavy for the workout. I just decided to do it to challenge myself and the things that you see on Brie Larson's Instagram feed, bear in mind that she's already got a foundation with her coach. She's sharing with you the results of hard work which you can clearly see from her physique. I also want to say thank you to Mercedes for lending me the car that I was pushing. Actually it's not as bad as I thought it would be. That 
that's it guys i do hope you enjoyed this workout do let me know if you try it and if you want to see more things like this you like the content that i'm putting over here please leave a comment <laughs> please leave a comment below subscribe to my channel find me on instagram facebook snapchat my handle is right here and click on that bell for notifications when i put out another video and as always May the gains be forever in your favor.